billions of people around the world are connected to the internet. The majority of the revenue generated on the internet comes from advertising. Publishers sell ad space to companies to reach all those people. However, this negatively affects the consumer's browsing experience. Join us as we talk to Professor Steve Wicker at Cornell University about the technology and the moral debate on advertising and ad blockers. Stephen Wicker is a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Cornell University. His main emphasis is on wireless technologies, both the technology itself as well as how the design decisions affect people's speech and privacy rights. Advertising is a huge factor in the internet. When we look at companies like Alphabet, which is the parent company of Google, we look at Facebook, advertising is their main way of making money, and they're making billions and billions of dollars doing this. So internet advertising is huge. In fact, it's literally driving the way the internet is used in many ways. When a user browses the internet, publishing companies collect lots of different kinds of data about them, and then use that data to accurately advertise to them in a relevant way. With access to billions of people around the world who use the internet, this technology can be very powerful and lucrative. So the technology is very interesting. The basic idea is that when you request a web page, for example, from the NewYorkTimes.com, there are a lot of companies bidding for the right to put an ad into your reading experience at the NewYorkTimes.com. And these auctions involve uh, using a lot of information about you to determine how much that ad's going to be worth. They may know that you frequently buy pet products. They may know you're a left-handed Democrat who recently voted uh, in a New York state election. They may know all kinds of things about you, things that you may have even forgotten. And in particular, they may know what you've been looking at recently when you've been browsing the web. So you may be, for instance, interested in buying an elliptic machine. Suddenly you're reading the New York Times and they're advertising elliptic machines. This is how this happens. Although this advertising technology benefits internet publishers, it negatively affects the user's experience. This led to the invention of an ad blocker, which prevents an internet browser from displaying any advertisements on a website. In 2015, ad blockers cost publishers an estimated $22 billion. And in 2016, over 300 million people used an ad blocker on their mobile device. This created a whole moral and ethical debate between publishers and the consumers of their content. Let's take, for example, um, a low-level writer, someone who's got their own website, and uh, they want people to come and read this content, but they can't generate the content uh, without making some money somehow. So they sell space on their website to advertisers. The person who has done the writing might say, I have a right to make money for what I've generated. And so if people are going to come read it, they should look at the ad so I can make money. That's one side of the argument, but the other side is many of us who spend a lot of time reading material on the web have been bombarded by advertisements. We come down in our research on the side of the reader. I think ad blockers are moral because it's in essence our only source of defense against uh, basically an inundation of advertising. We think that the distraction economy has gone too far and we need to allow ad blockers to basically run their course until the advertisers are willing to enter a dialogue so that both sides can have their say and people will only see the ads that they want to see. Find out more in Internet Advertising, Technology, Ethics, and a Serious Difference of Opinion, a review article in the October 2017 Communications of the ACM.